In this short video clip, I'm going to explain to you some basic accounting concepts that you need to learn before you can start learning actual accounting. The first two that you need to understand are assets and liabilities. On their own, these terms might sound quite scary if you've never heard them before. However, they are actually quite simple. What you need to understand is that assets refers to anything that you or your business owns. So it's what you've got. So if you think of yourself, think in your bedroom, what do you own? You might have an iPad, you might have a phone. These are going to be your assets because they are what you have got. Liabilities, on the other hand, are kind of like the opposite of assets because liabilities refers to what you owe. So maybe you borrowed some money from your mom to go and buy a, a birthday present for a friend. That 200 Rand that you need to pay her back would be a liability because you owe it to her. I quite like to show own and owe as the easy to remember difference between these two at this stage. At a later stage, you'll learn some more detailed um, descriptions and definitions, particularly of assets. But for now, this is what you need to understand to move forward. To illustrate the idea of car assets and liabilities, I'm going to use a game which is hopefully very well known to you, Monopoly. What I've done is I've set up the game with two players. As you can see, there's a player over here with a large bundle of cash and... A number of properties but do you notice what has happened to this property over here what has happened is obviously he's needed more cash who knows why because he's got a whole pile sitting there and he's decided to mortgage this property and to mortgage it you simply take whichever card it is in this case OR Tambo International and you flip it over what that means is that you are then borrowing some money from the bank the bank will give you half of the face value. So if OR Tambo International Airport cost 200 um, Monopoly monies in this case to buy, it means that to mortgage your value is 100. So the bank will lend you 100 and you would then need to pay that back. Interestingly, you actually have to pay back 110, which would include the interest. So that would be... Um, an amount that you owe. Um, for the situation, those are all the things that um, belong to the player and I'm using this as the example of the player, the car. Um, please excuse the fact that I don't have the actual car and dog because unfortunately my children managed to mislay them. But um, I thought we would bring our own little car and our own little cat in lieu of a dog, which I quite like actually. So that brings us to the second player who is going to be my cat over here, a very cute little creature. And... Um, that player doesn't have nearly as much. I've just got two notes over here um, and only two properties. However, if you notice, the properties are these ones over here, one sitting with a hotel and one with a house. So if you look at those two players, who do you think is actually winning the game? Well, the one who wins the game is the one who survives the longest, is that not? And so that would mean the one who has got the most assets. Let's now have a look at these items that we've seen on the board and try to classify them as assets and liabilities for each of the two players. Firstly, let's have a look at the items that the cat had. If we pop them on the board, you can see there was firstly the cash. Um, now, would you say that is something that the cat owns? or something that the cat owes to somebody else. Hopefully you realize it belongs to the cat. If I was the cat player and you tried to tell me that if I had cash sitting there and I owed it to you, I would be very grumpy. Then we look at this. These are our streets, Table Mountain and Cape Point. And obviously those also are items that are owned by the cat. So they will also slot in over here. In addition, Look what else we've got that's interesting. Cape okay, Point had a house on it and Table Mountain had a hotel on it. 
both of those are also going to be seen as assets because it's what this player owns. It belongs to them. They've paid for it. They've earned it. It is theirs. There's nothing else. That means the cat didn't have any liabilities. There was no amount of money that was owed to anybody else at that time because he or she did not have any mortgage bonds or um, hadn't landed on another player's property and needed to pay them or anything. So that sorts the cat out. Let's now have a look at the car. Well, the car is a little bit more interesting because the car player has got a whole bunch of money. In fact, it's quite a tricky one for me to put up on the board and um, it may well happen that some of them fall down. But you know what we're trying to get at over there. There's a whole lot of cash that belongs to this player. In addition, there's, ah, there we go, you see. We also have a whole lot of property. There is the whole brown set. There's the whole baby blue set. And there goes some more money, but you know that we've got it. There is also Mac Mac Falls. And there is Pilansburg. Now, don't get worried by the fact that I'm overlapping a little bit. Please just keep in mind that this is still part of my assets. I just ran out of space because the car has got so much stuff. Hopefully, you can realize that all of these are the things that belong to the car. The car player has got all of this cash. He owns that cash. And he also owns all of these properties. Now, have a look very, very carefully. He also owns this airport, but remember, this airport had in fact been mortgaged, and so we need to show that as a liability. If I had two of these cards, I could actually show you the front, because he does own the property, but he owes money on it. So we need to pop that into the side of the liabilities. That's quite important. Now that we've classified our different items as either assets or liabilities, let's write them a little bit more formally. For our cat, yes, our very formal cat, our assets were obviously cash and property, the land, and then we also had the houses and hotel. Then for the car, there was also cash and property. And there was a whole long list of it. Let's have a quick look. Firstly, if we take the cat, there was our cash, 30. If we look at our properties, we had Table Mountain and Cape Point. They cost 400 and 350 respectively, and so therefore in total the land was 750. The house and the hotel that you can see over here would have had to be paid for. And if you're a, a very common Monopoly player that you enjoy playing often, you would know that to see how much they had to pay for those, it's actually written on the bottom of this card. And if you can squint, which I doubt, you'll be able to see that it actually cost 1000 for the hotel and 200 for the little house. So our houses and hotels came to 1200 It's quite interesting in this case to see that our houses and hotels were actually worth even more than the property was in the beginning. But anyway, so that was all that the cat had. If we have a look now at the car, the car had a whole bunch of cash. And don't worry, I'm not going to make you add it up yourself. Luckily, I have already done that for you. And I know that the cash totaled 320. Now, what's interesting is, although it's a whole pile of notes, look at this, a whole lot of them are ones. So actually, he's not quite as rich as we may have thought initially. Then he also has a whole lot of properties, as you know, all of these ones here that we looked at earlier, as well as our Tambo International Airport. All of those, if you add them together, have a value um, that it would have cost 980. So that is the value of all my property. However, remember that we cannot forget that here is a mortgage bond. Notice that the amount that is payable on this mortgage bond is 110.
you can see over there. Remember that the difference between the 100 that the car would have got um, and the 110 that has to be paid is the interest. It's very important to keep that in mind. You don't want to just borrow unwittingly and not take into account the fact that you would have to pay interest on it. But that is very importantly going to be a liability of the car. Um, and so we need to show that there's a bond and there's 110 owed. So now that we've cleared this up a little bit, um, you could actually have a look and work out that the cat has got total assets of... Uh, 1980. Do you see that? So that means that the cat is actually worth 1980 because um, there are no liabilities, nothing else is owed, and if the cat pulls out of the game right now, that's what he's actually worth. If you have a look at the car, however, the total assets uh, come to 1300, but the problem is that this liability over here is 110. So what do you think the car is actually worth? Well, of this 1,300 that the car has got, he would have put a lot of that money in, but 110 came from the bank. So what that actually means is that the car has actually only got a value of 1190. Don't worry about these values that I've put over here. We'll come back to them later. They are there just for extension. You don't need to know it right now at this point, but it is something interesting to keep in mind, especially as we look at what happens to the game. As you can see over here, the game is in progress. And in fact, what has happened is that a four has just been rolled by the car. So let's see what happens now. The car moves. One, two, three, four. Oh, oops, I'm sure you all know that the car is not going to be very happy right now. Especially as if you have a look at the rent that is owed, I don't know if you can see it there, the rent that is owed on that particular street, um, which is Table Mountain, with a hotel is a whopping 2,000. Let's now have a look and see. If this car had to sell all of these properties, not even mortgage, but actually sell all of these properties, there's no way that he would actually be able to pay that 2,000 rand. Let's go and add it into our um, classification and see what it looks like now. After the transaction that we've just seen taking place, where the poor car landed on the top of Table Mountain, which was not a very wise move, that means that suddenly the car has a new liability of 2000 that is owed to the cat. But if you have a look at this now, the assets that the car has is not worth that 2000 Rand. So in effect, you could actually take this a step further and say, actually, suddenly, he's actually worth minus 700. In other words, he is bankrupt. I don't know if you've ever heard that term. I'm sure you have used it in Monopoly. We say, oh dear, now I'm broke. You are totally unable to pay your debts. And unfortunately, you have to pack up and you are out of the game. The cat, on the other hand, would have received another 2,000 assets or not, might have had to write some of it off as a bad debt, which you don't need to know about. Um, but anyway, the, the point is you can see that the cat is worth a whole lot more than the car, and the car is now out of the game. But do you see how these different items that you have are either assets or liabilities, depending on whether you own it and whether you owe it? If you'd like to take this a tiny step further, you could actually work out what profit or loss did these players actually make. I don't know if you've been able to notice something very, very interesting here that you don't yet need to know, um, but you might like to see it. Your assets, in fact, everything that you own has to equal either your liabilities, if you owe all the money, if you had to borrow it, plus what we call our equity. 
Don't worry about that term for now. You might have heard of it as capital. Capital is part of equity. And basically what equity means is you or your business. What is it actually worth? So in this case, you can see that the cat is worth 1980 before this 2000 that he's going to get. But we'll just keep that out for now so that we don't get confused. So the cat is worth 1980 and before that fatal last move, the car is worth 1190. Um, if you want to then compare this to what you started with, I don't know if you would have any idea that at the beginning of the game, you would have each started with 1,500 in cash. That's what you would have had right at the beginning. So how do you get from 1,500 to the 1,980 and to the 1,190? Well, quite simply, that tells us that before that last move, the cat had actually increased by 480. In other words, you could almost say the cat made a profit or earned 480. Whereas the poor car had actually decreased in value of what he was worth. And so actually there was a loss of 310. This part over here is simply for extension. In case you like it and you understand it, it'll help you for next year. The important part is understanding that the assets are the things that you have got that belong to you and you can use and liabilities is what you owe to somebody else. I do hope that helped a little bit. Good luck.